hi lovelies welcome back to my channel this is Abby World. today i'm going to show you how you can mold or block your cinnamon fascinator on a dinner plate does this sound interesting if you'd like to learn that trick watch till the end don't mind my voice please because i have flu so the voice may sound cracked okay please bear with me let's get started <laughs> Here are the items needed for making this hard fascinator. I have my plate here, two different types of plate, okay, with a cinnamon, a black cinnamon with this arrow. I decided to use it because I love it a lot. It adds beauty to it. Then this flower or roses with the feathers, a UHU and a stiffener. If you want to learn how I make my stiffener, check the link below, okay? Here is a cellar tip and some pegs. Remember, we will not be able to use tags on it, so that's why we're using pegs. So, all you need to do is to flip the plate over like this. Can you, Let me show you the plate. You can see it is a little bit deep inside, so it's curved, okay? Then this other one is curved as well, but not like the other one, like sharper, like a, in form of a cone. After placing it on it like this, I'm going to use my tape to um, stick it to it, okay? You know, if you don't do it like that, when you start molding, it can shift. So that's why I need to use my tape to um, secure it very well. So this I'm going to add the tape all around till everything is firm and I know that I can lift it up and it will not break. Remember, it's a breakable plate, so... It's necessary you take these necessary precautions, okay? After that, I'll, you can see the way it is now. Can you see the shape is showing already? So, I'll get a nylon and wrap it. You can use any color of nylon. So far, it's a nylon. The essence of doing this so that... When you want to bring out the cinnamon, the heart, after it is dry, it will be able to come out easily. Okay? So after tying it like this, I will add some Vaseline on it. You can use hair cream, Vaseline, oil, anything you know that will make it um, come off easily when it is dry. So that's why it's necessary to add this um, oil. Thereafter, I will fold my cinnamon like this in half then place the plate over it like this ensure that it's this the same size when you fold it it gets to the tip of this plate like so so you keep adjusting till you get the desired um uh, length that can cover up this when you hold it like this you can see the way it is so I will sprinkle some water on it so that it will be a little bit soft for me. Then just pull it and drag it. That's what I'm doing right now. Then trim off the excess. Thereafter, I will hold it like this. Like I said in my previous video, you have to pin up the four cardinal points first of all. When you pin here, you flip to the other side. And pin it as well. You see, I'm adjusting it so that I will use this other part so it will not be wasted. I pin um, clip here. It's not pin clip because I'm using pegs. Then clip um, pin um, clip is clip right. Then clip the opposite direction as well. You see, I am adjusting it because it's not tight. You need to make sure it's firm. Okay, you pull it to make sure it's firm. So after pinning the four cardinal points, you start from any of these sides, then you start dragging it and using the same pegs to clip it down. As you are doing it, ensure that you make ensure that you feel the back side, okay, to make sure that it's smooth right behind there. I'll continue like this till I go around the circle. 
I want to welcome you all once more to this channel and to my wonderful subscribers. I say thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Each time I get a notification that anyone has subscribed, I'm always very happy because it gives me this joy that you like what we are doing here. That's why you are subscribing. Thank you and we will not fail you. We promise we'll be giving you new content here and unprecedented skills. Okay? Thank you so much. And to those who haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Remember to subscribe, you don't need to pay. So click on the subscribe button so that you'll be enjoying the same thing our subscribers have been enjoying here. And God would bless you. So all I need to do right now is to cut off the excess from the down part, okay? After cutting it out like this, I'll flip it over and add my stiffener. So remember, you have to dab the stiffener in like this, okay? So I'll keep dabbing it in, dabbing it in, even to the sides I added um, that I pegs. You're going to repeat the same thing everywhere. Then flip it over like this. Also add some of the stiffener at this down part of the um, cinnamon. Then also, you remove each of the pegs to make sure that you allow the stiffener to get there, to touch where it did not touch. Now, here is it. It is dried. You know, after that, you put it in the sun. Make sure, make sure you put it in the sun, a hot sun. Don't keep it in a damp place. When it's sunny, just do it. Keep it there. Then to be very dry. Now that it's dry, I will remove the pegs. Thereafter, I will try to pull it out of the mold. All you need to do is to raise it up a little bit everywhere around, then just try to pull it out. You see how easy it is to come off it because of the cream I added? Wow, is this not amazing? Who would believe this was made from a dinner plate? So persons would like to learn but don't have access to um, molds worry no more the solution is finally here at the comfort of your home you can do this i cut the millinery wire and i already fixed it inside if you want to learn or if you don't know how to do that you want to learn how to fix your millinery inside kindly check the link below you will see it so you can watch it there so what we need to do now is to cut our designs so in order to cut the design i'll cut out a triangular piece there is actually no um re-measurement for this it's um it depends on you how big you want it to be okay so all i did was to fold this like this um a rectangular piece like this i folded it in half you can see the triangular part is already showing so i'll cut it out like so Right now is to add some glue at this very end. That's the longer part of the triangle. Okay, just lead to. You know that if the glue is too much, it's going to start um coming out or showing. So, just a little bit, then allow it dry a little. Then I'll fold it down like this. Kind of double. After folding for the first time, I'll fold it again. While folding, I'll stretch it so that it can remain firm. You see, the way I stretch is as if I, I sew it. So you just stretch, stretch, stretch. Can you see how nice it's looking and very neat? <laughs> and very neat. So what I need to do is to hold this middle and pull it up like so. Okay? Pull it up like so. Then I'll add some glue at this down part. Down part, sorry. Then I'll flip it over add glue at the back side of these two ends okay then hold this place place it on top of the other one like this kind of um overlap it like this then hold here like this 
end like this then you can use your hand to adjust it from behind then repeat the same thing to this side like this like this and like this okay I hope you are getting it you can see it's big if you don't want it as big as this you can also reduce it just do it like this then try to put your your thumb finger inside and push it in okay so that I can have a kind of um how will I say it now it will go in okay like a plate like this so this is it so here are the rest so what I need to do now is to cut off this excess at the tip Here is a square shape cinnamon I cut out in order to place all those impetus, um on it. If you don't know how to cut it, you can check the link below on our previous video. I, I described or I showed a practical example there. So check it out. So I'll add some glue at each of these petals. Then start sticking them in like this. So as you stick one ensure that you place the other one next to it let it be right on top of the side like this okay there shouldn't be any space in between them i want it joined together like this you could have yours having space or be spacious but this is what i want it's a matter of choice you know everyone needs to be creative thereafter once i have it like you can see the way it's looking nice already like a hair ruffle you can also use this to make a hair ruffle Thereafter, I will stitch it. After stitching, I cut out this um, rose from this um, flower I bought. Okay, so after that, I will add. Um, you see this um, stock that is here. That's where I'm going to push it. Before then, I will just add some glue at the down part of it and hold this um, stick and push it into the uh, cinnamon because of the hole it has. It will go down easily then you just press it down like so after that you stitch you can see I'm adding glue again then I'll place it right on top of the uh, fascinator hat like this I also went a step ahead to add feathers you can see that I added feathers already so I will stitch it now together with the hat then the, here is a leaf design. I think I cut out just one to use for it. If you want to learn how to make this leaf also, check our link below. You will get it on our previous video, how to make it. Then um, this other one, this other uh, flower that is remaining from the uh, one I cut out, I will also add it to it like this at this place so that at least it can be full. My clients want it full. Then after placing it like this, I will try to make sure that um, I cover up any um, visible part showing, like this part that is showing white. Okay, you can see this part showing um, white. That is the stock here, yeah, this very place. I will add this petal, um, add some glue or this petal and stick it right there so that it will be able to cover that place up so it will not be visible anymore. Then I'll go ahead and add this arrow to it. You can see I'm adding um, some glue at the down part of this um, arrow. Then I will place it anywhere I want. But majorly it should be on top of the rose, okay, or on top of any design you place there. And ensure that this arrow is facing back. That's when you wear it. So with this now, you'll be able to determine where your elastic is going to be or where your band is going to be. Don't go and fix it sideways so that uh, when someone is passing in church or in a, a party, the thing can poke someone's eyes out to so please. So make sure you, you guide it jealously and be safety cautious. Okay? 
what i need to do right now is to cover those rough edges i trimmed off last time um where i added my millinery wire i'm going to cover it with a bias i, I hope everyone know what a bias is i'm not using peter shang for this i'm just using a bias and remember bias is not as wide as peter shang so it doesn't have to come out as in be at the outer part of this hat so just the inner pattern you're good to go can you see how lovely it's looking already wow this is amazing who will believe that this was made from a plate from a dinner plate you see i also went a step ahead to add my um elastic you can add a lace band if you want it's a matter of choice this is this is so interesting this is amazing if you haven't subscribed yet this is a great opportunity for you to click the subscribe button just start hitting the subscribe button right now click on the like button write comment in the comment section below and give us anything you need to give us thumbs up anything we will be so glad thanks for staying tuned and stay tuned for more videos i remain everywhere bye